farting. If a dude does it, it's hilarious. If a chick does it, it's nasty. One thing that I can't figure out to this very day is why is it so freaking funny when some fat dude rips a nasty one? But if some hot chick who thinks her sheet don't stink rips that exact same fart, we're all disgusted and we're like ready to puke. How did this phenomenon come to be? So like, I did some big time major research on this subject, and this is what I found. Farting for centuries and ages has been seen as a masculine mannerism. Men are actually attracted to loud noises. It's just part of a man's survival instincts. Think about it. Who bumps their music all loud when they're driving down the street? Who likes loud booms and gunfire and fireworks going off at 4th of July? Who's out there hooting and hollering at sporting game events? It's men doing this stuff across the board. They love loud noises and they just love to be loud. Women, for the most part, they just tend to be silent and they barely draw attention to themselves ever. True story right here. In my college years, I remember a dude farted in class. And about a year later after that, a female farted in class. This is how they reacted, and this is how society reacted to their farts. So the dude that ripped on in the forum class had the entire class busting into laughter. In fact, the guy that ripped it actually got a few high fives from all the other dudes in the class. But the chick who farted in the forum class about a year after that, she was ultra embarrassed. She must have accidentally let it out, and everybody looked back at her and she just turned red. In fact, it actually might have been a queef from the night before. Her boyfriend might have exited and entered without letting out some of that air pressure, if you know what I mean. Anyways, she was just so embarrassed, and she was turning red, and she was sweating. And basically, she dropped out of the class the very next day. That's how embarrassed she was. Here's another huge point too. In most cultures throughout history, farting has always been taught to be unladylike. So a lot of moms who had daughters had to hold their farts in all the time because they know that the daughters are watching and they gotta set a good example for them. Like they think their sheet don't stink. Literally, you know? Maybe this, how, this is how a chick came up with the whole idea that they think their sheet don't stink. I don't know if you ever noticed this, but when a fat dude rips a fart, it's a lot funnier than when it comes from like a skinny dude that looks like a gay or whatever. But when some fat dude with like an afro and stubble and a football jersey rips a fart, oh my god, that's the funniest of all. And when a chick does it, oh, that's just kind of gross. Ew. Here's another drop dead shocker right here. Get ready for this bomb drop. According to scientific research, women actually fart more than men. That's right, you heard that correctly. Women fart more than men due to their diet, their digestion, and their daily habits. It also has something to do with their period cycle or something like that. But yeah, they just fart way more discreetly than men. And here's the number one point right here. Male characters in TVs and movies make a huge spectacle about farting. It's glorified by male characters in Hollywood all the time. I mean, when's the last time Marge Simpson ripped a nice juicy fart as a punchline? Or some hot thin wife from a sitcom like The King of Queens, or According to Jim, or Tim the Toolman Taylor? When's the last time a thin wife ripped a nice juicy one to get the crowd laughing? The answer is never, because they don't do it. They were taught not to do it because when a chick farts, it's actually pretty gross, so hold those things in, suckers.